between the city lights and uh, the fact that it's sort of sprinkling out, so the, the lights are refracting off the wet surfaces, just like your headlights don't have enough power when, uh, when it rains. It seems like you have no headlights. But uh, one thing I want to bring up is you can see right there, and I'm in a lifted truck, my headlights do not go past that Audi, stock Audi, past his trunk. I have no residual light within 10 feet of being behind him, of, uh, of blinding him. It, none of my light is actually coming into the cab of that Audi. Let me move the camera back here. And I, I bring up this point, I've had a lot of comments on my HID, uh, and as far as why I don't want just to put a $99 eBay uh, HID kit into your stock housings. It's because your stock housings cannot refract that light out of that housing in a properly focused manner. And you will blind people. And the reason you go with a retrofit uh, like I did, where you take a a stock projector lamp that was in a stock vehicle and you retrofit it, you modify it so that it fits into your own vehicle. I'll see if you can see. I pull up right behind this Jeep and I'm right at his like door hinge. There's a good shot up against the wall about 15 feet away. Raise the camera up so you can see his low beams, and there's high beams. so you're not blinding oncoming traffic. That's the reason you don't put HID into your already, you know, your housing of your, your truck already. I've had a lot of comments, a lot of emails, mostly because I've been responding to a lot of different forums, trying to help people. Um, and, and that's really it. If you can put your truck, your car, you know, 15, 25 feet away from a wall, and you can have that cut off. That's, I, that's totally fine. If you want to know the DOT uh, legal specs, I'm, I'm not saying that the retrofitting is legal everywhere, or even that mine's legal. But if you want to know the DOT specs, you should have a 2-inch drop at 25 feet. Which means, if you've got a lifted up pickup, and you're following a small car in front of you, uh, you may have to be 50 feet behind that car to get a 4 inch drop so you're not blinding them to properly follow them. It, it'd be the same courtesy you'd give uh, you know, somebody with your high beams on. You wouldn't drive around with your high beams on. And that's essentially what you're doing with the HID kit in your raw housing. You're essentially driving your high beams on. There is so much light output in an HID kit, your light housing cannot focus it. Therefore, you're essentially blinding people with high beams. Of course, when you come up a hill, you're going to shine higher than usual. The newer ones in modern cars actually have an auto leveling kit. Um, those are a little bit harder to get a hold of uh, in an aftermarket retrofit and get the computers to work. Um, when that becomes better available, I more likely will be doing that. 